While you were sleeping, as expected, the storm has gotten stronger. Look at this huge, and I mean huge, flare-up of convection very close to where the center is. It's starting to move now. It really was stationary all night long, but when I say move, I mean it's moving at about 5 miles per hour, just kind of drifting toward the north. But it's also sitting in an area which is very, very favorable for development. So if you look at the satellite and the radar and kind of put the streamlines on this, so the winds, you can see where the center is. It's up here. So a lot of the convection is to the south of the center. That's what wind shear is, that northwest wind shear sitting here in the Gulf right now, kind of shearing some of it off. However, that is going to retrograde. It's going to relax. And as the storm moves into the southeastern Gulf, it's really going to be in a position to rapidly intensify. And that is what the forecast now is for a strong hurricane to be rapidly intensifying toward landfall. Okay, it's one of the worst things you could have is a rapidly intensifying storm. So the computer models, all they're going to do now is just get clustered. Okay, they're going to cluster closer and closer together. And obviously, the solution is an eastern Gulf of Mexico hit. But Cedar Key versus Apalachicola versus Tampa Bay, big, big differences still lie in where the center comes ashore. Right now, here is the forecast. Based on this forecast, you're looking at Wednesday morning, real early, like 2 o'clock in the morning. This is going to be a nighttime storm for us, guys. I'm sorry. I know it's like the worst time, but nighttime storm. You're going to be looking at a major hurricane coming just to our west early Tuesday morning. And unfortunately, that is going to bring a lot of water with it as well. We've got a 4 to 7 foot storm surge right now. That is the forecast for Tampa Bay. This is different than Ian and Irma. Those were to our south, which gave us a north wind. Now we're going to have a southwest wind, and that is just going to pour the water up into Bayshore, into Shore Acres, places like that. Now as you go north and close, six to nine feet up to Chassawiska, this is your storm surge. Then from there, of course, close to where the center is going to come on shore, 7 to 11 foot storm surge that will cause problems along and west of Highway 19 in Citrus County and Hernando County. OK, so listen to your local officials, which I'm sure in the next 24 hours we'll be talking to as well. So from Indian Pass to Englewood, there's your hurricane watch. I do suspect parts of that area become a warning later today. And here's your winds as they work their way. And we could be looking at hurricane force wind gusts late Tuesday night or early Wednesday morning. Let me wrap this up by showing you this. Hurricane watch, storm surge watch, four to seven foot storm surge Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning into Tampa Bay, plus a high tide. It's one of the highest ones we have all year because of that super moon. Seven to 11 to the north. Tropical storm winds Tuesday afternoon. That's when they're going to start. Maybe hurricane force wind gusts Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Three to six inches of rain and of course we're on the eastern side. So there will be some tornadoes kind of mixed in in some of those rain bands as well. But none of this is going to happen or start until tomorrow afternoon. We will keep fine tuning. We will keep tweaking for you as well. Our next major update from the Hurricane Center will be 11 a.m. And it's all out of here by Wednesday afternoon.